When you want to add a one-to-many relationship in Flasky Alchemy, you'll start by adding a relationship to the parent, in this case, owner. So you should name this attribute after the child, which is pets, and make it plural. And then you'll use db.relationship. The first argument is the name of the class in a string, so just pet. And then here we see I have a back reference. That back reference just means that I'm putting a new column, basically, on the child. So I'm going to put owner on the child which is pet we'll see that in action a little bit later but just know that it's adding a new column there then i want to put the foreign key on the child so here i'm going to name it after the parent so owner underscore id for the parent class and then just db.column make it an integer so db.integer and then db.foreign key and then inside of the string that you pass a foreign key you need to reference the name of the class in lowercase so owner with a lowercase o and then dot id next what i'll do is i'll start up a REPL and i'm going to create my database so after importing db i can do db.create all and i can take a look at the database and i see here that i have my owner and pets tables created and we can also see the foreign key there as well next what i want to do is i want to import the two classes so i can work with them and do everything from the REPL here and i'll start by creating a new owner so i'll just name this after myself and i'll give it a name of anthony I'll give it an address, I'll add it to the session, and then finally I'll commit it. Now that I have that, I could take a look at my owner table and I see that I have a row in there with my name and the address that I added. And keep in mind that the ID for my user is number one. Next, I'll create three more owners so I have some data to work with, Amanda, Brian, and Brittany. And then I can add them all to the session at once. And then finally, I can commit again. And I'll just refresh my table and I see I have the other three owners in there now. Next, I'll move on to creating some pets. So the first pet I'm going to create is Max. So name is going to be Max, and then the age of Max is going to be three. And here, this is where the back reference comes in. So I have this fake column called owner, and I can simply do owner equals Anthony. And by doing that, that will assign Anthony to be the owner of this particular pet. So I'll add Max to the database and commit. I'll go ahead and refresh and I see that I have Max here with an owner ID of one. And remember that my user's ID is one, so it matches the owner that it should be. Next, I can do max.owner on that backref column and we see owner one. That's not very descriptive, but I do max.owner.name, I can see my name. And then if I do max.owner.address, I can see the address of the owner and also basically the address of the pet because the pet lives with the owner. If I do anthony.pets, I can see a list of all the pets that Anthony owns. In this case, just one pet one, which is max. And if I reference it by index, I can get the name. So the index is zero for the first one dot name. And I can also do the same thing for age. By the way, if you made it this far in the video, you're probably really interested in Flask SQL Alchemy. So I've created a free course called Flask SQL Alchemy Basics, where I cover it in much more depth. So if you want to join this course, just go to my website, prettyprintit.com slash Flask SQL. I'll put a link in the description below as well if you want to click there. Now back to the video. Next, I'll create another pet. We'll call this one Buddy. And I'll assign Buddy to Amanda this time. And I'll add Buddy to the session and commit. And then I'll refresh. And now we see that Buddy is there, but the owner ID is now two because Amanda's ID is two. So Buddy belongs to Amanda. And if I do buddy.owner.name, I see that the name is Amanda, of course. So now I'll just create some more pets and add them to some of the owners that I have. I'll skip one just so we see what it looks like when we have an owner who doesn't have any pets. But for the other three, they'll have pets assigned to them. Okay, so Coco, Rocket, Lady, and Lulu. I'll add all four of those to the session and commit. And now if we take a look at the database again, we'll see that all of these pets were added and they all have the owner IDs of their owners. Next, what I'll do is I'll close the REPL and I'll open it again to show you what it looks like when you want to do this from scratch. So I'll just do the imports again. And then I'll try to use Anthony. So Anthony is gone because I started a new session. So before I can use Anthony, I need to query for him. So owner.query filter by and then name is Anthony. And we see the name there. So now if I want to create a new pet, I can then take that variable, Anthony, and assign it to the owner of the new pet. So we'll call this one Sky and the owner will be me. We'll add to the session and commit, of course, and just verify that Sky is now in the database. Let's go ahead and query for Amanda now, just so we can see what she has for her pets. So if I do Amanda.name, I see that it's Amanda, of course. If I do Amanda.pets, I see two, pet two and pet six. So what I'll do is I'll loop over each pet in Amanda.pets, and I'll be able to print the name of each pet. So pet.name, and I see Buddy and Lulu. And I can do the same thing for Anthony. And I see four in this case, Max, Rocket, Lady, and Sky. So finally, I'll query for Brian. And then I'll have that same for loop. 
looking for all the pets that Brian owns. But when I run it, I see that I get nothing in return. And that's simply because Brian doesn't have any pets. So you can just think of that dot pets on there, that DB dot relationship is a list and you can loop over that list and get every single thing that you need. So you can do this in templates or wherever you need it. And then I'll query for one of the pets, Coco. And I see if I do coco.owner.name on that back ref column owner, I can get the name of the owner, Brittany. And I can also get her address, 19 Clover Street. And of course, I can also get the owner ID if I want, but this has less use in practical situations if you're using everything that I'm doing in this video. So that should be enough to get you started with one-to-many relationships in Flask SQL Alchemy.